Mm. Hey, I, I learned this game the other day. It's called uh, Trust Me. Trust Me, I think I've heard of it, that sounds cool. Yeah, it's great, you wanna play? Um, sure. Yeah, cool, so, so what you do is, uh, is you close your eyes yep. and you turn around and I'll catch you and you fall back. I like fall back. You fall back and I'll catch you. With my eyes closed. With your eyes closed and you trust me. That's why it's called trust me. You're like 100% sure you're gonna catch me. I right? promise I'll catch you. 100% I'll catch you. Okay. I'm a big man. If, if you promise. Yeah, I'll promise here. Okay, you, you, okay. Yep. All right. You you turn around, yep, and you yep. close I your close eyes. Close my eyes, yep, my eyes are yep, closed. Yep, 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 and I'll catch you, I'll catch you down. You ready? Okay, come down, come down. Three, two, one, and two. Oh, oh I'm oh. sorry, bro. Ah, oh, oh, you so were supposed sorry. to catch me. I'm sorry, yeah, I know. I didn't know I was gonna sneeze. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't keep that promise. Uh, how about we, we look to how promises are supposed to be kept? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Hmm. Where could he be? Ziggy enters the room. Finally, you took your time today. Hey, am I not worth waiting for? Maybe waiting for like five minutes, but there comes a point where the wait time outweighs the reward. Five minutes? That's all my presence is worth? I'll remember that. Well, I just really want to know what happens next to Abraham. When we left off, God had made three big promises to Abraham. And I know God would have kept that, but I want to hear how. Okay, okay. So the three big promises were, one, that his family would have their own land. Two, that Abraham's family would be as numerous as the stars. And three, that through Abraham's family, all the people on earth would be blessed. Right. And we learnt that Abraham and his wife, Sarah, had been trying to have children for years, but were not able to. So this was a very big promise. And it says here that even after God made his promise, it still took a very long time to come true. Abraham and Sarah struggled to trust God at times because it took another 25 years for God to fulfill his promise. 25 years? Oh, they must have been ancient. Oh, they, d they did get pretty old, which made it even harder for them to believe that they would have a baby. But sure enough, along came a baby and they named him Isaac. Aww. It says here that Abraham was a hundred years old when Isaac was born. Sarah was so happy that the promise had come true and so was Abraham. They praised God and thanked him for this wonderful gift. 25 years of waiting must have felt worth it after Isaac was born. Definitely. You see, sometimes God works differently to how we expect him to. Sometimes we have to wait longer than we'd hoped, or sometimes the answer to our prayers comes around in a completely different way that we never could have seen coming. So even if I've been praying for something for a very long time and haven't heard anything, it doesn't mean that God doesn't care or hasn't heard me? Exactly. God hears and cares about all our prayers. His plans are just so amazing that sometimes it takes a lot of patience, but it's always worth it, and it is often better than we could ever imagine. Sorry about that. Well, after our failed trust exercise, I think it's good to know that God will always keep his promises. Yeah, it is good to know that God is perfect, holy, and he won't sneeze at the critical moment. Not bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay.